you know, came out here, you know, with the you know, high schooler. Shout out to, you know, coach and, you know, Fayetteville High School. Got to, you know, throw at them and um, have some knowledge, like give some knowledge. And I was just in their shoes and I was telling them, like, anytime, you know, just ask questions, DM me. I'm, I'm an open book, you know, because I was just in their shoes. So, yeah. Hey, um, you've done a lot of community stuff since you've been here. How important was it for you to have your face out there, have your name out there in the public? It was definitely uh, a big deal, you know, it's something I take really passionately, uh, you know. There wouldn't be, you know, we couldn't do what we do, you know, on Saturdays, you know, or Thursday, the first game, uh, without, you know, the fans. And that's what I really want to do is give back, you know, and using my platform to just give back to the community. That's the least I could do. I'm sure you had some NIL at Boise as well, but um, what's the opportunity been like for you here? Oh, it's been, it's been amazing, you know. It's, I'm truly grateful for uh, Mr. Fletcher and what he's done. And the opportunities, you know, being out here today and just, the, you know, just seeing him and not even talking to him, you know, as a business aspect, but building, you know, a personal relationship with, you know, I can call him anytime, he calls me anytime. And, you know, in the tech and, you know, texting too. So it's, it's definitely, you know, pretty cool. Your, your teammates and coaches uh, have talked a lot about kind of your, how, how much you have stepped into that leadership role this year. Uh, you know, coming out of the community kind of does that as well. Is that something that Sam and, and Coach Petrina maybe, talk to you about before you arrived, just like needing that presence for you? Or is that something you kind of just stepped into on your own a little bit? I mean, I feel like, you know, being a quarterback, you know, it's, it comes with the job. You know, you got to not not like be vocal, but you have to lead by example first. And then you have to be vocal, then, you know, being accountable and all that. So, you know, I knew and that's why I hold myself, you know, every day when coming like coming here, that's what uh, I wanted to do, you know, first, you know, build a relationship, you know, with my teammates and, you know, of course, you know, be out in the community, you know, then, you know, be be accountable and, you know, be that person that my teammates can uh, lean on. You know, Casey played for Bobby back in 2008. You guys for compare sure. notes at all? Uh, he, was, <laughs> he was telling me about his uh, his book on LSU and how, you know, thick it was. And that's 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 Coach Petrino for, you know, just the detail, you know, and with uh, um, with the game plan. You know, that's what, you know, I love about, you know, Petrino. Uh, of course, you know, everybody knows he is a quarterback guru. But, you know, that's when the game slows down is when you, you know what's going on, you know, uh, the ins and outs of, you know, what the defense is doing. You guys opened both camp on Wednesday. What are you most looking forward to about just starting the whole season? For sure. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, just getting the ball rolling. I've been excited since January. And, you know, everybody's talking trash, you know, the offense and defense having their little feuds. So, you know, we're going we gonna to it, settle it on Wednesday. How, how those Fayetteville kids do catching catching your passes? Oh, they look good. They look good, you know, um, real natural and beautiful. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I walked in here. I was like, this is a high school stadium. This <laughs> high school facility is crazy. Put that up yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they look, they look really good. You know, I'm excited. I was just telling them I need to come out for a Friday night game, you know, and watch them play. What do you think? Again, I hope the, the high school kids kind of got just from, you know, their limited experience just kind of tossing the ball around with you, just kind of your words of wisdom, what you hope they kind of got out of that? I mean, I hope, um, you know, I come from, you know, I've, I've just, like I said, I've been in their shoes and um, just wondering, you know, I wasn't really highly recruited out of high school and, you know, things like that, but just wanting to make sure, you know, all it is is just put your head down and work, you know. It's it's hot outside and that's, it's hot outside and, you know, in the burning turf, we was talking about the turf, you know, but that's when, you know, all of it matters, you know, when the blood, sweat, and tears, it's going to all, it's going to all, be worth it, you know, uh, when when the time comes. Yeah, there was Barry Odom's son. Did you guys talk about the last <laughs> title game at all? Yeah, we talked about it a little bit. You know, he was uh, telling me about the the game and watching me play and stuff. And I I didn't know uh, at first because I was giving him give him a little uh, talk about man, you can't wear that UNLV. You gotta wear you know Arkansas Razorback. <laughs> like, come on, man. So he was telling me he was telling me uh, he was watching the game. So that was a pretty fun, cool experience. Is there a time that you remember when you were, you know, in high school and getting ready to take that next step where maybe somebody kind of had this opportunity where an older guy came in and, and kind of, you know, talk you through and, and have something like this? Um, yeah, just coming out of coming out of Dallas, uh, it's a lot, you know, a lot of talent. But, you know, that's what I'm grateful for. You know, when I was in high school and still to this day, you know, anybody that gives me, you know, advice, you know, I'm a first one to take, you know, because I'm I don't know everything and I'm still, you know, learning and still growing. So. You know, I'm definitely, you know, grateful to, you know, be in this position and just, you know, give back to, you know, because I just told them, like, they're the next one up, you know. So I'm, I'm just excited on what they're going to do this year. You get any highlights from Dallas? Like, what's favorite things that happened? Weird questions or anything? And Dallas. 
at media days? Um, no, I wouldn't say no weird questions. I wouldn't say any. It was, it was pretty chill. It was pretty chill. Did you, did you get a custom-made cowboy hat? I got a custom-made cowboy hat. It has TG10 right there, and it got the 10 card. I was the, yeah. yeah, that's, that's my Texas, Texas origin. So, Andrew, he, he had the black hat. What, what color did you get? I got like a light gray, like a light gray hat that's cool. with a little feather on it. Do you like wearing cowboy hats, or is that more just to have around your house? Or? No, I, I enjoy wearing cowboy hats. We actually went to a rodeo, uh, I want to say it was last week. You know, wore a cowboy hat and stuff like that, and had fun. We got to see not rodeo, my bad. We actually went to the uh, the PBR, the bull riding, and we went like behind the like behind the uh, the cage and stuff, and just seeing uh, just how big the bulls are and stuff. I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. I can I'll probably ride a mechanical bull, but the the real bull, nah, where, they got that. Where, where, where was this at? Uh, it was in Springdale. Okay. It was in Springdale. So you were leading Andrew, um, and he was very adamant that the game wasn't over and that he was going to win. Did y'all finish the game? We did not finish the game, but we agreed that this was the last drive. Like, we was like, all right, this is the winner. Like, we agreed. So that's that's what happened. Yes, it wasn't, yes, it wasn't four quarters, but it was an agreement that we're only going to two. That's what So he can't take losing? He can't take losing. Oh. He can't. I mean – He's a competitor. That's what I like. Is I'll be, I'll be the same way. I'm not gonna lie. Is there a best player yet at the, at the like a clear top dog at college football 25 in the Arkansas locker room? Shh. I don't know. I'll say everybody. I've been spamming Jordan Anthony. <laughs> and I say it's Satanian. I send him on a streak or a slot fade. Gone. Any one on one, any man. That's what I'm doing. How excited are you? I think the one thing that we didn't really see much of you in the spring, which was obviously by design, is like, is you running, you know, escaping the pocket, using your legs. I mean, how excited are you to kind of like showcase that part of your game to not only us, but everybody? And, you know, how, how big is that maybe for you and the offensive success this season? Uh, I'm really excited, you know, to get, put the pads on and be live. Um, you know, I t I'm telling the defense all the time, no, nah, that wasn't a tackle, you know, this little one touch and stuff. So it, they gonna, they gonna, they're not going to see, but the opposing team is going to see. But, you know, I love – but at the same time, I really like um, having, you know, a black jersey on so I can go through my reads and actually, you know, make the throws that I need to and not just rely on my legs. And I know you do a lot of work in the summer, lifting weights, running, work, you know, working with the guys. What, what, what was the summer like for you overall? Did you do some fun stuff too or just what, what was the work like? Honestly, the work was – it was a grind, you know, the, the strength staff does an amazing job of, you know, getting our bodies where I feel, you know, the best ever, you know, and everybody, we're bigger, faster, and stronger. You know, the, we have our catapult, the miles per hour, uh, you know, the speed hogs and stuff like that. And uh, we just tested, I want to say, last week and the week before, and I haven't lifted that much weight and felt this good in, in a minute, so I'm excited. I mean, any fun things, you know, we, we actually, like, we have like stations, but we do like competitive like stations. So, you know, it makes it fun. You know, everybody's talking trash, you know, the music's blasting. So we, we're having a good time. Everybody's dancing, uh, having fun. Can you tell us what some of your weight marks are like bench press or? Ah, oh, man. Or if you don't know, that's okay too. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I can't. But, but, but you're doing PRs. Yeah, PRs. Got to do the PRs. Taylor, a fun video of uh, T. Will rapping the other day. Yeah. Went viral. What do you think viral. about that? Viral. Got bars. He, I didn't even know he had those bars, but he went viral. I saw. I just saw it. It was like 1.2 million views. That's crazy. Shout out to T. Will. Shout Are you gonna get a response from Katrina? Nah, I think Katrina. <laughs> I think Katrina's just gonna chill on that. <laughs> well, Taylor, I want to ask you this on camera. You, you, you do a Bobby imitation? When I did no, <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't even do it. He's going, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't even do it. So, Dubinian said that Petrino is real quiet now and he can sneak up on you. Has that been your experience, too? He he sneaks up, but he sneaks up when he wants to sneak up. <laughs> like, when he wants, like, when he knows you're not paying attention to him, then that's when he sneaks up. But... But the rest of the times, like he's going, he's going to make his presence known. You know, when he walks into a room, or when he walks on the field. You know, everybody. Oh yeah, that's Katrina right there. So that's what. It, it's both. It's both.